All right, so the moment we have all been waiting for, Call of Duty Black Ops 6, the Truth Lies live action reveal trailer. Let's go. I'm excited. We're recording. The truth is, your whole life is a lie. Is that George Bush? You wanted peace. So, we hit the war, and now it rages all in the shadows. Behind the closed doors, where we hide the world's secrets. Is that the queen? While we build your trust, the world falls apart around you. If you weren't so distracted, you'd realize nothing is what it seems. But if it's truth you seek, look in the dark. Oh, this is heavy. Oh my god. Oh man, listen, this campaign is about to be controversial. It's gonna be fought, bro. Oh my goodness. So if you guys don't know, first of all, we've already known about the reveal today. If you guys didn't know, the the worldwide reveal is gonna be after the um after the Xbox showcase, which is on June 9th. Brother, let me tell you something. First of all, I I'm digging. I'm absolutely digging this wallpaper right here. First of all, it, listen. It got a brother. Listen, I got to respect it. Call of Duty Black Ops 6. Obviously, if you guys couldn't tell, uh, um, it, it gives off like Call of Duty Black Ops 1 vibes, you know, with the guy with the two guns, stuff like that. This is hard, bro. So if you guys don't know, I was kind of right about in the last trailer. I said this is going to be like it's going to be about the government a lot, about like the lies and the truths and, and, and all that. If you guys don't know, um, the um, the thumbnail of this trailer was uh, I think his name was Saddam. Hussein, I think he was like a president of Iraq. I think, uh, it, I mean, listen, I, I don't even think I was born whenever you know him and the U.S. was like beefing and going back and forth, or whatever. I, I really don't know, but I, I heard that like some people love him and some people you know don't like him and stuff like that. Like, I know, and this is after his death. I heard that like some people was like, oh, you know. Uh, you know, you you tricked us like, you know, they're telling the, the, the you know, the U.S. government, hey, you tricked us and stuff like that and, and to going to war and, and, and killing people and stuff like that. So even to this day, I heard that some people like them, some people don't like them. I don't know anything about none of the politics. So if you guys can comment down below, tell me what you guys think about that whole situation. Um, but apparently, you know, I thought he was a bad guy. Apparently, you know, he's loved, you know, between, you know, some people. So. I don't even know about any of that. Some people love him, some people hate him, etc. Now, in this trailer right here, we've seen we got George Bush right. I believe this is George. Bush. First of all, Call of Duty. These actors that you got as like as like um, as like these former like world leaders, you guys did an amazing job with that because I actually thought this was George Bush. <laughs> I thought this was George Bush at first. So if you guys don't know, this is George Bush. He's basically saying, "Hey, um, you know, everything you know was a lie." Uh, etc. And obviously, you know, there's a guy he set like a tape recorder down to like, you know, record like I guess like his statement and stuff like that. Um, I don't know who this guy is. I don't think I've ever seen this guy before, but he must be like somebody that's important and like, you know, um that that's up there and like the world leaders maybe. Um Let me see if I recognize anybody else. He lo he looks like a general. That's the thing. He had like a lot of uh a lot of medals to his name, he had the jacket, he looks like a general. He looks familiar though too. Um, who else do we got? And now, right here, now, I don't know at first, I don't know why, but I thought this was, like, the queen at first. I thought this was, like, Queen Elizabeth. First of all, rest in peace, Queen Elizabeth. You know, I don't, I don't disrespect, I don't disrespect nobody, uh, you know, that's, that's passed away, stuff like that. So, whether you like her or not, you know, you, you know, you still have to, you know, respect, you know. So, um, right here, this looks like Queen Elizabeth. And, obviously, if, if it wasn't really a big, you know, takeaway, it got, like, the teapots and stuff. And we got the tea, obviously. England and, and and the Brits and you know they love AT you know <laughs> the Brits you know if you <laughs> the Brits but <laughs> but yeah so right here it looks like Queen Elizabeth I don't know why she's in the game maybe she has something to do with it as well um I feel like this entire game is going to be built on and at the end of the day we don't know you know with everything with the governments and what's going on what's going on with the world I feel like this whole game is going to be a big like conspiracy bust i feel like a lot of people that believe in uh you know a lot of conspiracies with the government and stuff like that they're gonna love this game because and i feel like and, and, that, and that's what i like i feel like cod i feel like call of duty is finally taking a page from like 
its old book back in the day, you know, and, and, and not they're not really afraid to, I guess, like break the boundary and they're not afraid to, you know, um, how do I say, like dive into conspiracy because we all know whenever it comes down to conspiracy and stuff like that, a lot of people, you know, a lot of people love it, but also a lot of people don't like it. You know, a lot of people don't like when people dive into something that's, you know, not really their business, but at the same time, some people love it because they get to, you know, discover the truth. So at the end of the day, and at the end of the day, Let's be honest, man. We don't know what the truth is. I'm, I'm just being honest with you. Like, I don't want to sound, you know, like scary or whatever. But at the end of the day, us people, we don't know what the truth is, you know. So I think I, I, I actually like how Call of Duty is actually diving into this and, you know, expressing, you know, what they really think about this. And, you know, hey, you never know. Hey, to all the listen, all I know is the conspiracy theory people, you know, about the government and stuff. They're going to eat this game alive. They're going to eat this game alive. Um, so yeah, we got the, uh, I'm guessing we got the queen right here. Um, if that's not the queen, somebody please tell me who that is, because I'm gonna be honest with you. This looks like Queen Elizabeth. I mean, I, I don't know. Listen, I'm not a big, you know, like I'm not really a big face guy, but if you ask me, this looks like Queen Elizabeth to me. Uh, other than that, let me see if we recognize any other people. This guy right here. Now I've recognized this guy before. Who is he? He looks very familiar. I don't, I don't know. I don't like, I don't know his name, uh, this guy's name. But if somebody down below can comment, who is this guy? He looks very familiar. He looks like I've seen his face a, like a thousand times. I don't know who, what this guy's name is, but he looks very familiar. And But if you guys don't notice, like they're all like, and obviously we got uh, Saddam Hussein. Um, if you guys don't know, like we got a lot of these world leaders and they're all saying, hey, like, you know, discover the truth. Like find out the truth because, you know, you guys been distracted and, you know, you like, and that's just what it is. And also, I watched Inkslayer's video, and he said that Saddam Hussein was going to be, like, the main villain of this video game. So, I mean, listen, we'll see how this works out. It look, but it looks like Call of Duty Black Ops is actually diving into, like, you know, their conspiracy type of thing. Which, I rock with it heavy because I feel like it's going to break down. It's going to break down a lot of barriers. And also, I also heard, and I think I mentioned this in the last Call of Duty video, I heard that there's going to be, like, a 9-11. There's going to be, like, a 9-11 mission in here. Which is, if they do that, it, it, here's the thing. Call of Duty has never did that before. Call of Duty has never did a 9-11 type thing. The closest thing they ever did to like that to, uh, to like that extreme was the no Russian mission. And the no Russian mission was just straight brutality. That was a straight five guys in suits with vests on, and they just light up an entire terminal. And now we got a potential... Um, you know, we got a potential, you know, 9-11 mission where, I mean, it fits the game. That's the thing. We got world leaders in here talking about war and talking about, hey, you all, everything you've been told was a lie and stuff like that. And, you know, it fits the game. Like a whole 9-11 mission would fit this game perfectly. So we'll see like how that is, bro. I, bro, I can't even imagine like how they're going to set that up because at the end of the day, if they're taking the conspiracy route, then, you know, a lot of people are saying that, you know, that, that the 9-11 was planned and stuff. I mean, that's just that's just what people are saying. I'm not saying that. Um, but, you know, if Call of Duty is really going to take this conspiracy route, then, you know, they're probably going to listen. We don't know how they're going to make the 9-11 the mission or whatever. But um, but, yeah, we got a lot of world leaders in this video saying that, you know, hey, if you want to find the truth, you got to go into the dark to find the truth so i feel like we're gonna be listen we're gonna be in the dark this whole campaign we're gonna be doing a lot of like you know you know uh demon type stuff in this campaign so get ready i'm really excited bro call of duty black ops 6 listen i feel like we're i feel like we're taking a step back like, i feel like we're going back a little bit i feel like you know we're we're going back to the roots you know we're not really uh listen i don't want to disrespect you know i'm not saying that call of duty modern warfare 2 and call of duty modern warfare 3 was bad or nothing but i'm just saying i mean if I'm being honest with you, this this Call of Duty right here has definitely uh like Black Ops Six has definitely uh it's definitely on my list. It's definitely on my list of like games to play, games to cover. Best believe on this channel, we're covering it, bro. We're covering the campaign from head to toe because I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm excited about the multiplayer. I'm excited about the zombies, but I'm really, really, really excited about the campaign because I really want to know. Like, I'm just really, I'm really curious about, like, what they're going to do with these world leaders and what are they talking about whenever it comes to the campaign. So, comment down below. What do you guys think about this uh, reveal trailer? If you guys don't know, the whole, the official worldwide reveal, June 9th after the Xbox showcase. And best believe, that whole day, 
Whew, man, June 9th is going to put us through the ringer, but we're here for it. We're excited for it. A bunch of games are coming out that day, or oh, a bunch of, like, you know, reveal trailers are coming out that day, and then we got Call of Duty to end it off uh, on that day as well. So comment down below, man. What do you guys think about this? Really excited. See so you guys are going to finish them out, and 